Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. We have several packs to open from marquee matchups. We have a few packs from qualifying for foot champs. We have a brand new player SBC. Let's see if we've got him out here. There he is right there. Etienne Capu, team of the group stage. Let's take a look at this card. I saw him leaked a few days ago, and I was a little bit nervous because the agility on his gold card is like 38 or something like that. It's something crazy. Like The rest of his dribbling stats aren't that bad on his gold card, but the agility is just absolutely crazy. So this one, let's take a look at his stats here. Okay, so pace, 79 acceleration, 74 sprint speed. That is a little bit low, but I've mentioned this before. I had Arturo Vidal's Road to the Knockouts card in my team for a long time and absolutely loved him. Didn't have any problems with his pace. Now, I would say it's on that lower end of usable, and I would say you definitely want to put a shadow on him, but I think it's still a usable pace. You, of course, you'd want it to be more. We always want more and more and more stats, but that, I think, would be a usable. Don't let that throw you off if, if you're interested in this card. Shooting stats are nice for someone that maybe, could, you know, you're going to ask to be more defensive. Passing stats are nice. Short pass of 90. Long pass 88. That is phenomenal. Dribbling stats, they did jack up his agility. That is a massive boost of agility. I wasn't sure what they would do. I thought they would pick it up, but I thought it would maybe be like 70. But 80 agility, 80 balance is nice. Nice other dribbling stats. Composure at 80, I would like to see that a little bit higher, but you know, it's not the end of the world. Defending, defensive awareness at 85, I'd love to see that a little bit higher as well. Because on a, when you put a shadow on them, you only get a plus 5 boost to defensive awareness, so it's only going to go to 90, and I think you need to put them on 90. Strength of 87, he is a taller player. Does he have any traits? No traits to speak of. Six foot three. Medium, 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 medium. I just am not a big fan of in the midfield. I can kind of accept it in other places just for whatever. And I've mentioned this a hundred times. It just always seems to me medium, medium in the midfield. They don't get forward. They don't track back. They just kind of get stuck in that no man's land where you're like, come on, join the attack or come on, get back. And, you know, you're just trying to work with them and just... Not not a big fan of medium medium. I would say actually let's take a look at the price before we go too crazy. So we're talking an 83 with a team of the week and an 84 with a team. Of, I think that is an actually a really reasonable price for him. I don't know that he's absolutely outstanding. Like you've got to find a way to get Kapu in your team. But he's got some really interesting links. He's La Liga in French. So, for example, if you did Benzema, that's a strong link right there. If you still have Fakir in your team, that's a strong link. Or just say, for instance, you've got Vinicius Jr. and you did not complete Benzema for that strong link. You could have Vinicius Jr. at left wing, have Capu as your – I'm talking about a 4-3-3 for chemistry – Vinicius Jr. as your left wing, Capu as your CM, and then Teo Hernandez or Ferland Mendy. Well, if you have Mendy, that's a strong link anyway. But I'm just saying it gives you some different link options right there. So I would say that would be the main reason for completing them. If you need a French La Liga card to really just link your team together, get everybody linked up, get Mbappe into the team. You know, you get a link from Capu to Mbappe, and then you can have Renato Sanchez or Gelson Martins or something like that. So it gives you some really nice link options. This is a card I don't know that I would complete because he doesn't fit my team. I would say this is one, if he fits your team today, he could definitely be worth it. He's not super overpriced or anything like that. But let's take a look. I also saw, I looked briefly on Footbin, and I think we have new league SPCs as well. I didn't really take a deep look at them. I've been grinding this Premier League one some. Now, the Premier League one has this bronze or silver section that can get a little pricey. The bronze and silver cards from the Premier League went up to 4,000 coins for a while. I haven't done one of these for two or three days. I'm not sure if they've come down. They were 2,000. Then when Team of the Group Stage came out, they jumped up to 4,000 coins each. So that, that gets a little pricey. The other three sections are really simple to complete, and they don't have that where, let's see, if you take a look at like League on the, the restrictive part on that one is players from one club exactly 11. A lot of those have that players from one club exactly 11 for some reason. It's frustrating. So what new ones do we get? I think we got La Liga. I don't even, I've been kept up with every single one. I believe I saw a lot. Less. So it's probably these. So the ones with 62 days remaining. La Liga, Turkish Super League, the, what is that? The Belgian League and the Chinese Super League finally has one. So let's take a look. Chinese Super League cards are sometimes easy to acquire from, if you do bronze pack method. So max silver, China players from one club, max one. Uh, they've got... Why do they put that section in there? Players from one club, exactly 11. These would be so much nicer if they were all more like the Premier League one. 
Belgian one, players from one club, exactly 11, Turkish Super League, players from one club, exactly 11, La Liga. Okay, so La Liga is like Premier League and doesn't have that, but they have bronze or silver minimum seven, and oh, and man, that's a little brutal. They've got one section with bronze or silver minimum seven, and then they have a section with max silver. So that means you would need 18 La Liga bronze or silvers to get this done. I think that's a little restrictive. I wish they would all just be along that Premier League line where you know you have this one maybe slightly restrictive with bronze or silver players. Then just the rest of them, just let us get them done. That is frustrating. What is the full group? And the full group reward is a prime gold players pack versus a rare players pack. So, I mean, if you've got a lot of extra La Liga cards that's worth getting done, whether they are worth grinding, I don't know. I mean, if you do bronze pack method and accumulate enough or get enough silvers, it, you know, it's going to be worth it. But man, Prime Electrum, Jumbo Gold Pack, and that's not even that great of packs there. That That's really frustrating, really frustrating. Anyway, let's open up our packs. I have not packed one team of the group stage card yet. This is our time. And I know we've got a new promo coming tomorrow, a Song of Ice and Fire, or whatever they're calling it, where you're supposed to have like a freeze card and a fire card or something like that. I, I don't know exactly what's going on, but three, I think we have three Premium Gold Players packs. Because I got two premium gold players packs from the um, qualifying for foot champs, the actual foot champs finals, whatever they call it, gold players pack. Let's just do this prime mix players pack. Okay. Oh, that's right. I did a couple 75 plus player picks before they expired. I wanted to get a few more done, but I looked at it. There was like three minutes left. I was only able to get two done. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Let's see something big. I was trying to trick EA by opening these up after the SBC had expired. Let's see something massive. Okay, okay, I can deal with that. 85 Cavani, that's gonna be very helpful because tomorrow we could also be getting a Vinicius Junior Player of the Month. Please, please, FIFA gods, give me that Vinicius Junior Player of the Month. We would definitely complete that. Okay, so what are we doing? Let's do small Electrum Players Pack. 85 Cavani, that's definitely a good start. All right, so got a silver blasting out first. That's never a good sign. I'm not sure why they changed it for silver rares to have precedence over gold combos. And I even mentioned this. A silver rare is a quick sell value 238. A gold common is 266. So you're still getting more value. Now, I would love to see some Premier League silvers here, but nothing doing there. So just stuff going back into the club. We are kind of restocking our club after doing so many 75-plus player picks over the last several days. Prime X Players Pack. Let's see what we can get. Come on, something big. Nothing big here. No flashes. I need one team. I think I've packed a card from every single promo. I think I've packed one from every single promo, but I've not gotten one yet. From Team of the Group Stage. Come on, let's see something. I'll, even, gosh, there, there's even like a discard one that by time I, from, I don't know, the, the Conference League. Was there only one Conference League team of the group stage it seemed like that would that was an opportunity ea kind of missed let's do small prime electron players pack let's just see one big one let's see vinicius jr although i kind of in some ways if i packed vinny jr tradable which i think all these packs are tradable i would wait until tomorrow and then maybe sell them if his player of the month is released or maybe i would sell them and hope that because he may go down if the player of the month is really I, I don't really know it's hard. The market is so crazy this year. It's hard to say for sure. All right, let's do a gold players pack. Come on. Something big from a gold players pack. Nothing big. We haven't even had... We had the Cavani from the 75 plus player pick was our best thing so far. At least, again, I used up so much of my club doing probably at least 50 to 75, 75 plus player picks. So this is a lot of stuff going back into the team. The Premium Electrum, and then we'll have three 25k packs open. I may even have a preview pack to open, so. All right, so we're going to get Howler. God, yeah, I was thinking for a second. God, Howler's got a team of the group stage card, but that was an SBC, so unfortunate. Any Premier League, we do get two MLS. I don't think they're selling for much. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, three 25k packs. Let's see, do we have a preview pack? All right, we've got this or any promo packs previewable does not look like. Let's do our 7.5K preview. Let's just change it up a little bit. Let's trick EA to give us something good. So it looks like nothing from there unless we have an outstanding consumable. CM to CAM. I'll have to double check on that. I, and CM to CDM. These two 
could make it worthwhile buying. I'll have to check on those. You can't compare prices on those from here, unfortunately, but I'll check on those at some point. Right now, I won't bore you with that from checking it out, but I'll have to double check those. Come on. All right, we finally get a minor explosion. We're going to get a decent card, Schmeichel, 85 rated. So that's another 85 into the coffers, which if, if Vinicius Jr. is going to be very expensive, so we're going to need 85s, 86s, 87s, 88s, even bring a Cardi back. I have got. I used to hate to use like 83s and marquee matchups at SBCs, but I've packed a Cardi and Volans 16,000 times this year. I used a Cardi on the PSG section from the marquee matchups. Get them right back. So that worked out perfectly. Restocking the club. At least we did see a minor explosion. Did get an 85 rated. That is something. Come on. Let's see something bigger. Now, not even an explosion at all. We're going to get Vlasic 80 rated. 80 rated from a 25k pack. Could you imagine buying that pack off the market for 25,000 coins? Only thing I can say, I'm restocking my gold commons. Restocking the club. One more pack, though. Come on. One walkout. Let's see. One big one. Okay. At least a minor explosion. Not what we want. Kramerich. We're going the Croatian route here, it looks like. So we're getting Kramerich. 83 rated. And, of course, we've got him already. We can just store him up top. Is what it is. It looks like we're not going to be packing any team of the group stage. I may end up doing another draft or two just to kind of build up some packs for tomorrow. I'm kind of excited for the promo, but <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining me. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.